With the release of patch 8.05, we have seen a huge shift in the meta. This is largely due to the release of the new Agent Clove, the recent Cypher buffs, and the agents who are able to counter these buffs. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the top 5 agents I believe you should be playing to have the highest chances of winning your matches. The first agent I want to talk about is Clove. Clove is the latest agent that was released and to say that she's good is an understatement. Ranked is tough. A lot of times we are required to clutch various rounds just to win one game. So it's important that you play an agent that allows you to get a high amount of kills. And lucky for us, Clove's kit allows us to do that. With Clove, we can quickly deploy our smokes and unbeatable one ways, we can combine our metal ability to get some easy damage or kills, and we can self heal instantly with only having to deal damage to an enemy. The clutch potential with this agent is crazy, especially when you have her ult. If used correctly, then you get a second chance. Now, I understand the concerns about Clove since Clove's smokes don't last long, but I would argue that as long as you are timing them correctly, this won't be a major issue. The potential to get impactful kills is too great to not play Clove. Also, if you decide to main Clove, you don't have to worry about your teammates dropping bad smokes when you are trying to push the site. You get to be incredibly aggressive and control the tempo of your matches. It's a win-win with this agent. The next agent I want to talk about is Sky. Sky has been an amazing pick ever since her release. Not too long ago, Sky was nerfed by changing her flashes so you can no longer fake flash and the flashes no longer regenerate. Even with this quote unquote nerf, Sky remains as one of the best initiators in the game. Her ability to assist her team with her heal and dog is too great to pass up. But what's even more important is how good Sky is on her own. My favorite thing about Sky is that you can pop flash for yourself or you can info flash if you want to clear an area on the map. Her seekers are also amazing since they are like hunting fade dogs. You can use them to get easy information on where the enemies are and they allow you to take space easily since you can shoot through them but the enemies can't. The solo potential that Sky has to offer to win clutches and have high kill games will make it easy to climb compared to other agents. Up next, we have the OG Silva. Since the release of Valorant, Silva's kit has been the ultimate recon for a team. The amount of information you're able to get with Silva is not even comparable to any other agent. The only thing is that players tend to get so caught up in Silva's utility that they don't know how to use this agent effectively for themselves. It's one thing to be able to dart and drone for your team, but as Sova, you can have more impact through being in the fight, getting kills, and doing major damage with your shock darts. If you want to start playing Sova, I would recommend that you do one thing. Learn when to drone and when not to, learn to use your shock darts to deal damage to enemies, and learn to throw your dart so you can push off of it as well if we stand too far away we can't capitalize on the recon ourselves learning how to do these things will make climbing with this agent easier currently we are in a cypher meta so having a sova on your team to break the trips is pretty important up next we have raise Recently, Raze has been my favorite agent to play. Her potential to disrupt the enemy team has been the strongest out of all the duelists. However, there is just one problem. Many players think that it is too difficult to play Raze since her satchels aren't very beginner friendly. But to be fair, having great satchel movement is not something you must learn right away to climb with Raze. Her Boomba, Nate, and Ultimate are all powerful enough that you can breeze through the ranks with these pieces of utility alone. As you gain more experience with Raze and put in some practice with her, your satchel movement will improve. You should also consider using her satchels for other things as well, such as making the enemies inaccurate before you peek them. There are many little tricks you can do with this agent that are easy. The best way to learn them is by watching players like Jing and Ray4C. These are the two best race players in the world that have a lot to teach the community on using this agent. If I'm not mistaken, Ray4C has a 29 minute long video explaining how to use Ray's satchels and nade. Lastly, we have the most difficult agent to play against in the current meta, Cypher. 
For a long time, Cypher was the least popular Sentinel. First, Killjoy had her glory era, then when Chamber was released, he had his golden era for a very long time. Then once they decided to nerf Chamber, Killjoy came back into meta, but now it's Cypher time. Recently, Riot buffed Cypher heavily. His trips are incredibly difficult to get past unless you have a race or Soba. To get past his trips the easy way, you need to locate where the trips are, which in and of itself is a hard task, then nade the trip or shock dart the trip. If you don't have a raise or Sova, then you will need to use the hard way, which would be to try to shoot it right away as you're entering onto a site where the cypher is likely to kill at least one of you. If we have some type of prowler or dog, we can follow those pieces of utility in, but the trip is not destroyed. It's just temporarily disabled. If you want to pick up Cypher to climb, do it. Just learn a few trip placements for the maps in the current rank pool, learn one cage one way for each map, and get comfortable using your cages and camera to take space on attack. One player who does an amazing job at abusing Cypher's tech is Nats. We always see him use his cage and camera as a tool of aggression on attack. On defense, on the other hand, you will see him have some insane setups, but when you watch him play, notice how before he rotates to assist his team on another bomb site, he will pick up his camera and trips, then replace one trip so it's at hip height on the entrance of the bomb site to ensure no one walks in while he's gone. Learning these little tricks as a cypher player is going to help you climb pretty easy. So feel free to abuse this agent with this current cypher meta. If you want to learn any of the five agents I've mentioned in this video, search on YouTube agent name pro ranked VODs and you will see ranked gameplay of pro players playing the agent you searched for. Once you've spent some time playing the agent, use the guide insight to get in-depth stats on your performance while playing this agent. You can analyze stats regarding your movement, aim, utility usage, and more. To access insight, the link will be down below in the description. But that is all from me today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button since it's 100% free. And since we're on the topic of climbing ranks, I'd recommend watching this video next.